Hello everyone, uh, this is Terrence with TSKJesusFree.com um, A video cast or whatever you call it Vlog or whatever it is um, So in this uh, short little video um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, What's going on in my mind And so like my like overall analysis of the landscape of the of Christianity within the world um, on Earth, um, there there's been a lot of um, recent um, a lot of like argumentations like for the Christian ethics, but not necessarily. What they're trying, there's people out there who are promoting or are promoting a more of that, that cultural Christianity, but without Christ. And so, and and I listen to a, this is this is kind of why I listen to a lot of um, atheists and non-believers, just to get the landscape of what's going on out there, um, because. It's important, at least for some people, not necessarily everybody's going to be able to do this because not everybody's going to have enough time and don't want to put time in, um, but there's a, like, so, like, Sargon Vakad and, like, um, he's a prominent atheist. He doesn't really talk about atheism that much. He talks more about, about politics, especially in the UK. But, um, I got to look at my time audit because I got uh, Bible study tonight. Um, but yeah, so like Christianity with like I'm kind of seeing what's going on, and so there are, like a lot of people are saying like like Jordan Peterson. Um, there was a debate with Jordan Peterson. I got I didn't watch the debate. I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna sit there for two hours. I don't have the time to do two hours. I mean, I do have the time to do, sit there for two hours and listen to the whole thing. But if um, but if, uh, like, Sargon Akkad basically said, basically summarized the whole thing, yeah, I would go to, for the, more of the summary, a more of a trusted summary. Um, now, now, not all summaries are going to be trustworthy. Sargon Akkad is more trustworthy in that regard. Um, and I know his biases and uh, knows his uh, stuff. Uh, but in general, so, like, I, I listen to, um, and I listen to, like, very libertarian oriented um, podcasts out there that are like are a different take and so I'm kind of like picturing all of this like kind of like like because I don't think like here here's my take on the end times I'm not thinking I'm like very like analytical I mean I'm not saying I'm not saying that like Christianity is going to like like Christ can come back any time, uh, hence the Bible, like like Christ said, I don't know when I'm coming back. So, uh, so as a Christ follower, it's important to always be vigilant. But there's but there's a part of me that is like super vigilant, and part of me that is like not that. But like at the end of the day, we don't know when Christ is coming back. Christ can come back in any, any minute from now. From like like of course, Christ hasn't come back yet. Um, but what I've kind of like a theory, a theory out there. Um, this is just a purely a theory. Theory. Um, what's gonna like? Because the war. There's too. I think there's too many Christians in the war to have the to have the have the Christ come back. Um, honestly, um, like there's too many Christians in the war. There's still a good chunk of the population of. United States are Christians who who claim to be Christians, okay? Uh, but as like culture, as the culture of the United States has continued to go down the path of being anti-Christian, um, that's starting to just the cultural um, ramifications to be Christians in some in certain aspects of society in the United States, certain geographical regions in the United States, it's harder. Um, but it's not like but once it gets to a point where Christianity is like culturally, you are like kind of like in Europe. 
So like if the United States, I think the United States in America is gonna be like Europe, like on that trajectory. So, so yeah, that that whole mindset of of uh, the whole aspect of that. And so, what my take is, there's still a lot of Christians in America, or not just in in the world globally, that are like I. I don't think um, this is my personal analysis of it. I might be totally wrong, but whatever. This is just my personal analysis of the whole like, uh, like there, there's argumentations that would bring down Christianity in a in an increasingly secular world. So what Sargon McCaw does, and what Jordan Peterson does, what Sam Harris does, uh, and what. Um, all these prominent figures in society right now. Um, I agree with like bits and pieces of these figures on specific issues, like freedom of speech, for instance, is a big one that I believe that we should have the freedom of expression and speech. Um, but at the same time, um, I, I'm looking at it as a, as a landscape um, of the whole global landscape and I don't think Christ is going to come back not quite yet um of course that that could change radically change in a amount of uh, in a matter of like in a decade or two like being a Christian right now is still okay like you're, you're still like okay you're a Christian you do your own thing but like as decades and decades progress um it's going to be harder and harder and harder to be Christian in America even if it's not outright banned in America to be a Christian, it's going to be culturally banned, okay? So there's going to be a lot of cultural banding of Christianity, um, which is fine. I don't have any philosophical beefs with that. It sucks to be a Christian, but whatever. Um, I have Christ. I don't care. I mean, I don't care about myself really that much in terms of... of so, like, in the Christian worldview, as things are going to progress... Um, further and further and further down the line, I think I'm getting a, a more of that um, that picture of like, okay, this is how how things can go in the next 50 years. Um, I'm not saying that like I, I I don't think it's gonna happen in I don't even think it's gonna happen in my lifetime. It might happen in my lifetime. Like I don't really whatever floats God's boat is whatever floats His boat. Uh, but this is just my personal analysis. I think Christ is not going to come back until 50 to 100, 150 years from now. And that's just my general landscape. of the. I, I look at the landscape of it, and this is just my personal take. It has nothing really... Uh, like People try to uh, look for signs, but I look at the landscape. Like, there, there are people who are... Look, there's people who, like to look at individual signs. And I looked at the landscape. I look at the forest. And the forest is still, there's still a lot of people, the forest is still, uh, there's still a lot of Christians who proclaim Christ and be a follower of, and, and be a Christian. Until that dwindles down to, I say 5%, or not even like, maybe not even 5%, maybe like 15 to 20, 15, 10 to 15% of the world population, is Christian, then um, then it's going to be a lot more concerning and a lot more, um, would you say, uh, a lot more, there'll be a lot, I think there's just too many Christians in the world to keep it from going full-blown into, um, into the end times. That's just my personal take. I could be wrong, but I look, I'm looking at it as a landscape not an individual case by case like so many other like Christian um, people who who are my brothers and sisters in Christ but they're like looking at individual landscape individual instances and like oh that points to the Antichrist oh that points to the Antichrist but I think it's gonna be a more of a um, I think it's just a general landscape but right now the, the landscape is good for Christianity overall um, things can change it could be Another thousand years until cars come back. 
because it's his boat. It is his creation. He gets to do what he wants to do. This is just my general take on the whole situation. Um, so, like, as a landscape now, there's too many Christians. So, that's my thoughts. I thought it's going to be five minutes, but nope, it's going to be over ten minutes long. Um, but, yeah, so that's kind of my take on the whole landscape of Christianity on a global scale. So, and then within America, too, and other regions. So, thank you for uh, watching this video. I think this is going to be vlog four out of my try to do daily series of videos on YouTube. Uh, thank you so much, and have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.